This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. What is your purpose? Well, certainly we all have, we have one primary purpose, but we all have individual purposes that fit us, the way God designed us. You have the particular personality, talent, abilities, good looks, all rolled up into one body, and like nobody else in the world. You are this one of a kind, and so certainly there, is, there are some specific things that fit what it is that God wants to accomplish, and you are this one special tool in God's toolbox that God wants to use in this particular way. And he's going to use you the way that he can't use anyone else. Think about this. You are this one tool, this one special tool in God's toolbox that he's going to use for some specific reasons. He's not going to use other tools for that job because he's designed you for that particular purpose. And so because you are this unique individual, there are things that you have to accomplish. But we have this overall general purpose for our life, and it's defined in Ephesians chapter 2. But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which he has loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, by, because by grace you've been saved, and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages, that's now, so that in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. You want to know what God's up to in your life? He wants to reveal his grace through your life. That's what he's up to. That's his purpose. That's his plan. Now, grace means the divine influence on the heart and it's revelation in the life. That's how you define grace. Divine influence on the heart, revelation through the life. And so God says he wants to reveal his grace. He wants to reveal his divine influence in your heart and how it's revealed through your life. God is up to revealing himself through you. That's what God wants to do. Now, are people going to be open and receptive to that? (laughs) Do I have to answer that? You know they're not. You know they're going to battle that because sometimes the the exposure to God and His principles brings resentment and rebellion. And there are going to be times that people just flat out rebel against you. Sometimes they don't even know why because it's the Spirit in them that's rebelling against, against the Spirit in you. Have you ever gone through a cash register and just the, the lady there is just mean to you for no reason? You know, you're there buying something and you're, you know, you're just doing the your normal, you're just being your sweet self and they just snap at you for something. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and you wonder why. Well, sometimes it's your personality. Some of you deserve it. But sometimes it's this, their spirit really rebelling and rejecting your spirit sometimes it happens that way sometimes there are times when people just simply there's something that happens and they just don't want to be around you and it's because there is a spirit of enmity the bible talks about that it was i i don't mind telling you that there's a a very famous psycho uh who reads people's fortunes uh that lives in the city uh, I, don't, I don't want to give her any credibility. She lives down on um, Eastwood Traffic Way. And uh, I don't know why she has a doorbell. <laughs> I've never figured that out. Uh, but anyway, um, she, uh, she, you know, she tells people's fortunes and all of, you know, this stuff. So. One day, uh, we were having this special event when I was, when I was working in radio, and she, was, she had bought a booth at one of these events that we were doing, and she was telling people's fortunes and nonsense. And, uh, and so it was my job to go by to all of the vendors and thank them for you know, supporting our event. And I thought, how in the world am I going to do this? You know, so, uh, so I walked up to the booth, and I said, hi. And she said, I don't have time to talk to you right now. Okay. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Uh, and that was, that was, there was just this, this spirit of just like, I don't want to have anything to do with you. She didn't even know me. She didn't know who I was. I knew who she was, but she didn't know who I was. And, you know, and, and it, there was just this spirit. There was just something there that, that, that was just a abrasiveness. Listen, that happens in life. It happens in life, and we don't really, sometimes we don't even know why it's happening, but a lot of times it's happening because we are being used by God 
to influence the world. And sometimes we don't even know it. You are this tool in God's toolbox that God wants to use to influence the world, and He has this intent to show His immeasurable riches of His grace and kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. That's what God is up to. That's the purpose. So John describes himself as part of a plan. You are part of a plan. That's who you are. You are part of a plan.